All right, today we'll be doing a valve adjustment on a Honda 4Trax 300. We have a couple covers removed here already just to speed this process up. You do not have to pull this motor to do this valve adjustment. Just clarifying that so you don't pull your motor just to check your valves. You can do this while it's in the machine, um, everything hooked up. Uh, you're just gonna want a couple tools here, uh, standing by 17 millimeter socket with a wrench, 10 millimeter hex head, um, or an Allen here. As flat screwdriver and a 10 millimeter wrench and I use an impact with a 10 millimeter socket on it and then you want to take get a little bit bigger screwdriver to take a cap off now this cap is gonna sit right down here take this cap with a larger screwdriver and unscrew this this is your inspection window to find top dead center this cap here your 10 millimeter Allen is going to be removed to turn your motor over you want to turn your motor over clockwise so you want to take your wrench you want to turn it this way this would be clockwise you need to turn that over until you find top dead center now to find top dead center um, you look through this top window here it's a smaller window it's the one you took the flat head cap out of and you want to find two marks that line up with a with an arrow on your crankcase here so the li two lines on the flywheel line up with the arrow on your crankcase so you want to make sure those are in line now when you get to top dead center compression which is a stroke you want to be on um, if your four-wheeler was running decent, um, you should have clearance on both the intake and the exhaust. So you should have a little bit of movement there. If it's extremely tight or you notice when you're turning the motor that these valves are being pushed down, these rockers are pushing those valves down and obviously you're not going to have any clearance at that point and that's not where you want to be. Both these valves need to be um, in, the, in the up position and, um, and that means they're in the highest position that they can be in to check your valves. Next thing you're going to need is feeler gauges. Now, a whole bunch of different numbers on these. We're looking for 0 .006 inches, which is equivalent to 0.152 millimeters. So that's what we're going to set these valves at. Intake is going to be the same as exhaust on this one. So you take your feeler gauge, and I like to check them before I start adjusting anything just to see where we're at, to see if they were tight, see if they loosened up. Um, just want to make sure that we're doing something here, make sure... If your four wheeler is running bad, it was sucking oil, um, it just wasn't, wasn't starting good, and you're checking the valves to hopefully fix that problem, you wanna make sure that that's gonna be uh, what you're fixing. So, you know, stick your feeler gauge in there. If you can't get them in there, uh, then you know it's gonna be too tight. This one here is right at six millimeter, uh, excuse me, 0 .006 inches, and um, you can see there that it's snug. It's not extremely tight. You can get it in there without having to really force it but also it's not slopping around in there, and that's exactly where you want it. If we did need to adjust it, what I do, and I'll just do that adjustment for us here, even though this valve is good, I take your 10 millimeter wrench and a small screwdriver, and I like to put my screwdriver on there just to kind of feel where we're at and uh, see if we're loosening it up. So loosen that lock nut, and you just have to just slightly loosen it up, and then you can take, and I leave my feeler gauge in there, and you can turn this screw to wherever it needs to be and then you can take and feel it. All right, so that feels a little bit too tight so we can loosen it up. So we loosen it up. Now what I do, you can feel it again if it feels where it needs to be at. You need to take, and I leave my screwdriver on there in that position, and I tighten this down. Then making sure that's, that's pretty snug because these go up and down extremely fast and these has a tendency to rock that nut off of there and then you've got more serious problems. So check it again and make sure they're snug, make sure it's not um, too loose or too tight. And if you, if you have a little bit of drag on there, that's exactly where you need to be. More than likely, your valves are gonna get tighter as it goes on. And so um, if, they're, if they're slightly looser, that's not gonna be a problem. Sometimes you can hear an exhaust tick um, if it is looser. And uh, isn't the end of the world unless it gets too bad. So this one here is right where we need to be too. There's some drag there, but, but not too much. What you can do to check is to point, put the bigger size in there. So put a .007 in there. If you can get that in, then it's probably too loose. If you can't get it in, then you're where it needs to be at. So I can't get this seven in there, um, so I know that's where we need to be at. What I like to do then is take and spin this uh, all the way around a couple turns just to make sure we're in the correct position. The next thing I like to do is, um, is is find top dead center again, double check it just to make sure I was on the right stroke the first time, make sure there wasn't uh, any complications, just double check everything before we start buckling everything back together. 
Um, I'm gonna take now and show you what that top dead center mark looks like. And if you can see it there, it's gonna be hard to see, but I've got my socket in here like that. You may not be able to see it, but that's the window that you look through there. And I wish I had a light on me, but you can see briefly the little point that, um, that is inside of there um, that you're supposed to be lining up, or there's um, a little groove on the top of that crankcase there, or that cover there, and then those lines on the uh, flywheel are there. I wonder if I can get a light in here to show you. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see those lines, but they're in there on that flywheel. If we were to take this cover off here, your flywheel would be directly underneath there, and then your stator obviously have the wires coming out here, so that's in behind the uh, flywheel. So that is a valve adjustment on a Honda 4Trax 300.